Yo, what is up, guys? I'm Insanin, and today we're talking about Blam, Gakuen, and so on, aka Blam Academy, and so on. Now, this is the most recent edition that was released a few years ago. However, you may be more familiar with this cover that was included in its re original release in 2008. This is a must read for any fan of Sutomo Nihei, as it is fully in color and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a collection of some of his one shots throughout the years, as well as two different chapters that are both sequels to Blam and some chapters that are more of a parody of Blam that he kind of did for fun. And they're definitely worth checking out, at least just for all the nudity he puts for all the Blam characters in it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All of his one shots are incredibly out there and bizarre and just like super cool. And they have very surprising endings. So I won't be going into too many details about some of the one shots because I don't want to spoil them. Now, unfortunately, this has never been published in English. However, I will include in the description below and tell you at the end of the video a good way that you can read it in English. All right, let's get to it. Chapter one is a short one shot called Zebnoid. It involves two different species who have been at war with each other for billions of years. The story shows their conflict reaching a conclusion in a very surprising way that I'm not going to spoil. Chapters 2, 3, and 4 are Nihei's three Blam Academy chapters, all of which are a parody involving the major characters from Blam in a high school setting. Nihei obviously made these for fun, as they include typical high school comedy scenes, young romance between the characters, field trips with wacky misadventures, bad guys whose plans go wrong, a laser beam weapon that disintegrates women's clothing, a conversion tower knockoff that turns everyone moe, and multiple scenes with nudity that should satisfy any fan of the female characters in Blam. Definitely entertaining and worth checking out. Chapter 5 is a short one-shot called Parcel, or Package. It tells the story of a mysterious package arriving for our main character's brother, who disappeared a long time ago, and shows his journey across the city as he tries to search for him and deliver it, although what he finds at the end may make him regret ever searching in the first place. Chapter 6 is a sequel to Blam, titled Netsphere Engineer, and takes place in the future. It's a long chapter telling a story of humans coming into contact with an old conversion tower and having to deal with the exterminators that spawn. They seek help from the central government that runs the domain and are sent warriors that bear a striking resemblance to the electrofishers from Blam, as their armor, helmets, and weapons are almost indistinguishable from those found in Toa Heavy Industries indicating these might be the descendants of either the Electro Fisher group that escaped or the personalities that Mensab and Seiyu escaped into space-time with, especially since we see those little robot fairies that assisted Kiri and Sibo. But that's a conversation for a future video. Anyway, I'll leave what happens next up for you to read and end with letting you know there's also the appearance of a mysterious person called the Dismantler and that this chapter includes fantastic action scenes and a good amount of information about what happens following the events of Blam. Chapter 7 is a short one-shot titled Pump, and is in my opinion the most bizarre story Nihei has ever done. The subject matter is so out there that I don't even know what to say, so enjoy these few panels and check it out for yourself. Okay, Chapter 8 is another sequel to Blam, titled Blam 2 also known as 8th Generation P-Cell's Megastructure Escape Chronicle. It's a long chapter that tells a story of events between the humans and Silicon Life after Blam's original ending. We also learn more about Silicon Life culture and beliefs. The aforementioned title is a good description to what takes place, and just like Netsphere Engineer, includes beautiful action scenes and artwork that shouldn't be missed. The ending to this one will for sure leave you in amazement and probably have you scratching your head for a while. Chapter 9 is another short one-shot titled Numa no Kami, also known as God of the Swamp. It tells the story of a man's interaction with a lake goddess, but things are most certainly not as they seem. Chapter 10 is the longest and my personal favorite non-blam related one-shot in the book. The title's most recent translation is Battle Lepidopteran Hawk Moths, but I've also seen it called Winged Armor Suzumega slash Sphingidae and the Armored Battle Insects. This is what I believe to be Nihei's prototype for his later manga, Knights of Sidonia, as both works share similar terms, creature design, 
and an outer space battle atmosphere. Regardless, definitely check this one out. The colored artwork portraying this fight in space is truly breathtaking. Chapter 11 is only included in the most recent edition of Blam Gakuan and so on, and tells an alternate ending to the Blam's anime movie. I appreciate all the Nihei I can get, but we don't really get anything out of this story, and I kind of wish he either added another sequel to Blam or a different one-shot instead. Either way, it is pretty cool to see him draw Blam material more in a fashion of his latest work, Opossums, and I did find the ending to be very funny. Okay, now if you're looking to read this, there, it's not too hard to find scans online. However, most of the ones I could find are, the translations just aren't that great and they're pretty outdated. Uh, however, luckily Kadancha released a professional translation digitally a few years ago, and I found a good way to read it on the Mangamo app because you get a week free and it's all on there with the exception of the 11th chapter I went over, which I'll include in a link in the description below of a good place where you can read that one. I just want to take a moment to show my thanks and appreciation to everyone that's been supporting the channel. Um, I blew over 100 subscribers after the last video, and for me, reaching three digits is pretty cool. And I want to keep growing the channel and spreading the influence of Sutomo Nihei's because he's absolutely fantastic and I just love all of his works. And don't be surprised if I do more of an in-depth analysis about the chapters that were Blam sequels because I plan on using the information we gain from those chapters in a lot of in-depth theory videos about the Blam universe. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, as well as check out the weekly podcast I do. Stay Toa Heavy Tough, and I'll see you next time. Peace.